Let's fish. That's number one. Hold on a second. He's got a hook down in there. Oh! Whoa, Reggie! 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 Wait, wait, calm down! Calm down, Reggie! Good morning, guys. Look who we Whoa. have here. What's up? Reggie, where are we today? At the Tidal Basin. Tidal Basin. In fact, weren't you here last week? I was. Tell I us was. how that went. Uh, it, was, it was pretty good. Uh, I caught my first striper, small. Caught my first smallie, small. So it was successful, but trying to catch some big ones. So you caught two new species all on yeah. your own? Yes. Dude. Yes. Appreciate this it. guy is improving at the speed of light. Little by little. Today, we're at the Tidal Basin, and I am going to teach him how to fish. Last time we fished, I showed him how to cover water on a place I had no clue how to fish. This spot I know, so I'm gonna teach him how to fish high percentage areas, and we're gonna try to get him on some new PBs. Here's spot number one that we're fishing. There's an inflow of water coming in. Give us a rundown of what you think these conditions are like today. Uh, what do we got here today? I would say the water is definitely like muddy. Yeah. Uh, I think because uh, it rained yesterday. Yep. So I would say muddy water. All right, yep. so here's a quiz for you. What is necessary to catch fish in muddy water? Uh, are we going brighter colors yep. or yep. brighter colors? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's kind of a trick question. In darker water, you either want brighter colors or darker colors. Got you. I was going to say more yep. like uh, earth zone. But like, the difference yeah. is if it's a sunny day in dark water, you want brighter colors. If it's gotcha. a cloudy day in dark water, you want darker colors. Got gotcha. you. All right. And what's the second thing that you really want in these uh, muddy conditions? Mm, I don't know. Tough to know. So the second thing, you want to make a lot of noise and vibration. So you probably want like a chatterbait, spinnerbait, or something like that. But you know, we still might use plastics today. Okay. Just got to throw it out there and experiment. Let's do it. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to let you pick your bait on your own. All right. I'm going to pick my bait. We're going to see who can catch the first fish today. Sounds good. My chatterbait, but it's white. White? Yeah. Most important thing when fishing Reggie is action. Color, Magic. secondary. Okay. So go with the white chatterbait. Okay. You have a trailer on it though. No, I don't. Do you have uh, any kind of swim bait in there or plastic? Yep. That's close. Yeah, that, that'd be close. close. Let's see. Oh, oh okay. Oh, hold on a sec. What is that? We go. Boom. Kai Tech. Did I give you these? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good choice. All right. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pull one of those. <laughs> that's going to be perfect. That's going to that's that's do good. Choice. Good trailer. Trailer. Is this large enough? Second. Uh, how should I read it? Ah, so what you got right here, let me show you the first okay. time because this is almost correct. Okay. Not quite. <laughs> almost correct. Almost correct. <laughs> So you actually want to start, so you want to see the back of the bait. Gotcha. Hook pointing this way, mm -hmm. right through it, and you make sure you rig it straight. That's important for the action. Okay. I think about there should be good. Now we're going to see how that turned out. Push it up, and voila. How's gotcha. that look? Yeah, it looks good. You want a perfectly straight bait right there? Okay. I think that'll do it. Cool. Right, try to squeeze through here. So I'll let you get the corner. You can okay. just fish straight across. And one thing you want to try, drop the bait, see that corner? Mm -hmm. Just drop the bait straight down and jig it a little bit a couple times. Sometimes there's a fish hanging out over there. To me, it doesn't imitate a fish. Yeah, you're like, right. What is, like, yeah, what the is skirt. That? Yeah, so, the skirt. So basically, the fish are attracted by the um, vibration mm -hmm. of the bait. Then the skirt kind of just pulses in the water. So it kind of gives an okay, image okay. of potentially just something moving. It doesn't really look like a fish really, but gotcha. yeah, it's not the most natural looking bait. Gotcha. But right. yeah, it's cool. just the overall package of the uh, pulsing skirt, the trailer moving and the uh, vibrating that gotcha. can attract a fish. Gotcha. Because fish are not the smartest creatures. They, uh, right. Yeah, they'll hit something if they think it looks like food. Right. Yeah, I'm going to think of the other name. That's fine. Fish. Were they hard fighters or not that hard? Nah, not hard yeah. fighters. Yeah. Let's fish. That's number one. Ah, tough hook set. Dude, did I tell you about that corner? Nice. Did I tell you about the corner? Yeah. All right, here's number one, guys. Ah. Go. That's a fat fish, go. man. That's a fat fish. Yeah. Dude. Oh. Nice. Hold on a second. He's got a hook down in there. Don't Look at that. We got another. We got. A, you saw my video. Yeah, saw you saw it. my last video. I saw it. Oh boy. In there? Look at. Dude, I don't know. It's way deep in there. Oh no. He's got something way deep in there. All right, get him unhooked. Oh no, I mean, this guy's actually been feeding pretty well. I don't know when he got this. I mean, look how fat he is. I don't know when he got hooked. All right guys, let's take a look, see what we got in here. I'm just gonna lightly pull it up and see. Oh, let's see if we can push. Can't put, it's too deep in there. What's gonna happen to this fish is that there's actually a decent chance that whatever's in there 
might go through its digestive system and it might come out of his anus at one point. The hook might get stuck, but if another angler catches it and the hook's protruding out, you can easily pull the hook out and this guy might be okay. It's a nice little chunk, probably about a pound and a half, a little over. Let him go. All right, buddy, good luck to you. Hopefully, uh, whatever's in there, let me see. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that feels like, it might be a Senko in there too. Tough to tell. I would let him go. Off you go. I just switched baits literally about two minutes ago. What I did, Reggie, is I switched to a black and blue jig. Okay. So I still have some action on the uh, on the trailer right here. Actually, it doesn't even it didn't even have any action. I forgot to uh, take off these little holders right here. So now it has action, but <laughs> nice dark color. Yeah. And basically, I was just fishing muddy water. You either want to be really fast, fish uh, really colorful, vibration, noisy bait. Mm -hmm. Another option though is that muddy water, the fish will actually hang tighter to structure a cover. So I, I'm fishing slow and I'm trying to fish targets. When fish aren't used to dark water and the water suddenly, you know, we had a lot of rain last right, night. Exactly. The water suddenly gets really dark and then sometimes they'll hang close to the structure. Gotcha. But that was okay. my thought process behind uh, choosing this bait. Right. Yeah, it's tied tricky to fish to work the bait in, huh? Yeah. And I still... You don't, don't feel like you're deep enough? Yeah, don't feel you want, like deep enough. Let's put you, uh, you know what, let's teach you how to use a jig. All right. That's like that. the bread and butter of bass fishing and something that is relatively maybe it's kind of medium difficulty to learn but it's a really hard to master but it's a great bait once you do ah here we go let's see all the jigs that we've got pull them all out we're going to opt for the best weight over okay. the best color okay. so we can go with this guy right here all right. I saw him. have you used this bait before try to try to yeah this is actually going to make a perfect trailer so we're going to really? use that too okay yeah Reggie's just asking if the trailer, you want it to make it look like a fish, a lizard, a crawl, whatever. Yep. So you want to make it look like whatever you're trying to imitate. And a jig, you're trying to imitate a crawfish. Gotcha. We want to make it uh, pop out. So what okay. we got here, have you seen this before? No. This is called JJ's oh, Magic. Yeah. yeah. So it's an attractant and it changes the color. So one thing you want to do, check out the smell of this thing. Oh, waft it in there a little bit. What does it smell like? Oh, man. Ah. Oh. I can't even, it smells kind of like lemon pepper season. Lemon pepper? <laughs> should be garlic. Should be garlic. Yeah, that's garlic. Okay. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, yep. garlic. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to dip the tail in. Bass actually, you know, and throughout the history of fishing, there's a few uh, scents that bass have shown to like. Mm -hmm. Salt is one. That, okay. uh, that's less flavor. Yeah. Garlic, mm -hmm. um, anise, and coffee. Really? Interesting. Yeah, they like yeah. those scents and flavors. Mm -hmm. um, mainly, it doesn't really make the fish bite. But it, once the fish does bite, it'll usually help the fish hold on to it for a few extra seconds, give you more time to set the hook. So that doesn't look like much yet. No, but when you put it in the water, it's gonna be much more fluorescent. Really? Give you a quick crash course on jig fishing right okay. here. Basically, you're fishing on the bottom, okay. trying to crawl the jig like a crawfish along any rocks, any stumps, just along the bottom, sometimes hopping it a little bit. Okay. Um, always try to maintain a semi-slack line. You know what that means? Gotcha. Pretty yeah, much, so, you yeah. know what that means, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, good. And the toughest thing about jig fishing is detecting the bite. Okay. Sometimes, yeah, some, yeah, always have a semi-slack line. Sometimes it'll be a hard thump that's real easy. Sometimes mm -hmm. it'll be a real light tap. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you won't feel anything. The line will just be taken off to the side. But whenever you're unsure, what do you do? Set the hook. Set the hook sets yeah. free, that's yeah. right. Always set the hook. <laughs> so fish to bottom, hop it along, crawl it along, mix it up. I mean, jigs are very versatile baits. You can do a bunch okay. of different things. And cool. we'll see if you can get your first jig fish today. That's a fish. There's one. There's another one. Okay. Oh, it's a little guy. All right. Oh, well, the jig's working today, man. The jig is working. All right. The one thing I'd say for you is try to fish a jig a little bit slower. Okay. Teeny bit slower. Gotcha. And you can always uh, peek over at me, see what I'm doing. Right. See how they. I've done. I've caught a few fish on a jig. <laughs> All right, guys. And the, uh, you see these dark spots? Mm -hmm. That's kind of characteristic of the, of the fish here. It's, kind of, it's pretty interesting. They all have, a lot of them have these dark colorations on their body. See that spot right there? Yeah. People don't really know why that happens to some fish. Some of them have a lot of these dark splotches, but uh, some people say it's when there's a big population of fish, they, they get those dark splotches. I don't believe that though. I just think that hap there happens to be a pigment. Oh, 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 did you have a bite? Did you have a bite? Yeah. Yeah? That's awesome though. Yeah. I was saying. So. Let me show you something on this jig. No, no, it's not your fault. That's your first jig bite, dude. Yeah, Yeah, but bring that jig in. Let me show you a couple things. So one, you're using a rod that's kind of flexible, you know? 
You're using monofilament line. Mm -hmm. You've never used braid before. You've only ever right. used monofilament in your life. Yep. So you see this jig? See the jig? Yep. You know what this is? Got you. Uh, yeah. Protecting the hook. Right, so weed guard. Yeah, so it doesn't get snagged. Yeah. You gotta set the heck out of that hook when a fish bites. Got it. Like you gotta have a big hook set. So when you get a bite, okay. take your time, bring your rod tip down, reel down a couple, and swing up hard, okay. hard and fast. Okay. All right, dude. Cool. That's good. That's awesome. You got your first bite though. Dude, yeah. Ah, uh, dude, that's normal. <laughs> well, that's your first bite though, right? Yeah. Oh, you mean you're, you're saying in general you get yeah, too excited? In general, yeah. Yeah. That means you love fishing. Ah, same snag. See if I can get it out. Unlucky. So right now it's snag, guys, and there's no way I can get it out like this. But here, the next level technique is we're actually gonna walk. You can stay here, but just I'm gonna walk all the way around here. When you got a bait that's working, <laughs> you don't want to lose it. What up, dude? I'm gonna bring it over. <laughs> Pull it from the other side. This is wild. Got it. Oh got my it. gosh. <laughs> Magician. Oh man, oh check this out, check this out. Come here, check this out, dude. Look at this dude. So I was able to pull it free. What is that? From the other side. Oh, it's another line. Look at this. What do you think Whoa. this guy was fishing for? Whoa. What would you Catfish. say? Catfish. A giant swivel, yeah. thick monofilament or no, fluorocarbon line. Mm. This guy was definitely catfishing. Yeah. And he got snagged. Oh! Wow. What, what? Oh, that, no, I thought that, that was, was you. That wasn't me. Uh, oh, what was that? Did you see what that was? I didn't see that. Yeah, I was getting hyped. I, that splash was huge. Yeah. I thought you hooked into a giant. So what we're going to do... I mean, we're just gonna walk and cast. You've seen, you've seen the walk and casting last time, last time right? Mm -hmm. Ideally, you wanna try to get, like this is where the bait cast comes in handy. So watch when I, I can just flick it. I can get pin, pinpoint accuracy each time. And we're just gonna walk real fast along till we make it towards the, uh, over there. Okay. Whoa, whoa! First cast, get up, get up, get up! Let's go, Let's go Reggie! Let's go! <laughs> Dude, yes. we just switched yes. it. Hell yeah, Reggie. Yes. Let's go, dude. Yes. Dude, that must have felt good after missing oh, those. That felt so good. <laughs> that was awesome, man. Woo. Careful, man. Careful. Watch your, watch your troubles. Do you, do you, need, do you need me to give you a hand? Or do you want me to teach you uh, what to do? Yeah, tell me so, what to do. So this guy is flailing all over the place. Trouble mm -hmm. hooks. Yep. What you want to do? And ideally, let me just help you because I don't uh, want to. I don't want to see you get hooked. Yeah. So what you can do is you can actually grab him okay. by here. Gotcha. Like this. Gotcha, gotcha. But you can lip him. Now you can lip him. Okay. So you, you hold him tight when you lip him. Hold him tight. Got him. Got yep. him. Got him. Oh, you got him. What there you go. Pull that the fish up. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> oh man. That's awesome, dude. Woo! All right. Get that yes. hook out. This is this your biggest bass ever. Yes. All right, we're gonna yes. have to weigh him. We have to weigh him. By far. All right, got it out. Yes. Uh, let's get a weight on this guy for you, dude. This will be your biggest bass ever, man. GD, take it. Not bad at all. Nice. Oh, it's an ounce. It's not a hold. Okay, I was like, wait, wait, hold on, wait. Hold, the, uh, hold this thing again. Right. Let me reset it. Honey, five pound, dude. <laughs> <laughs> One day, maybe. Right. All right, here you go, dude. 1.6. 1.6. Yeah, I'll take pounder. it. Nice job, dude. Nice job, man. Whoa. How many bites man. did you miss today? 11,000. 11,000. <laughs> You'll get the jig. <laughs> so many. So show us the bait you oh, just missed too. Careful. Yeah. What do we got here, Reggie? We got uh, a bright colored crankbait. Yep. So we we're covering water, guys. We left the jig bite. We're just making our way down towards next billway, but figured we might as well cover this water. A nice windy day. Good conditions. Tide should be about coming in. Square bills along the wall. Let's keep it going. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah you got some. Uh, Thick tangle right here, man. That's a thick tangle. Well, the good news is you caught first fish of the day for yourself. Bad news is this tangle ain't coming out. So yeah, go ahead and hand line your bait in. Right. Then we're gonna cut this line, dispose of it properly, get you back in there. Quick update for you guys. We just waited out the low tide, the slack tide, slack tide. Did a little live stream, taught Reggie how to use a bait casting reel. You did a great job, by the way, Reggie. Yeah, 
So now we've got some new conditions, the tide's coming in, a lot of mud yesterday, a lot of rain. This water is extremely muddy, completely dark. We were fishing heavily stained water before, and now the water everywhere is muddy. So we're gonna change our game plan. I am gonna throw a big double Indiana blade spinner bait. We're gonna fish right along the wall, just how Reggie caught his bait. We're gonna cover a lot of water and see if, uh, see if we can find a few more. So you see that log, do you see that log right here? So that's the kind of thing in this muddy water that fish will definitely hang out on. Any type of structure or cover, even that floating trash, is gonna be real attractive to these fish in these kinds of conditions. And what I do, watch what I do. I'll take my bait and I'll literally, I'll bump it into it. See that? And a spinner bait, what's nice about the spinner bait is that the hook is kind of protected from the blades. It's kind of protected. Yeah. So you're less likely, if you just reel nice and straight, watch, I'll do it again. You reel nice and straight with your spinner bait, you can bump it right in there. Look, no snag whatsoever. And a lot of times what happens is that when that bait bumps in there, that can cause that fish to react and okay. that'll actually take the bite right when it bumps into it. How far away is a four mile? You got one? Whoa, Reggie, Reggie, Reggie. Wait, wait, calm down, calm down, Reggie. Calm down, all right, all right. What pound line you guys? That's a new PB. What, wait, wait, wait. Oh, hold on, okay, okay. So you have eight pound line. How strong is your knot? Uh, I think it's, it's pretty strong. Pretty strong? All right, so what you wanna do, hold on, that's a new PB. Dude, did I tell you that we get one yeah. or two against the wall, it's gonna be big. Okay. All right, I might, I could, as soon as you pull him out of the water, his weight increases by three. I don't want okay. him to break you off. So let me see, can I, I might be able to reach down here for you. Hold on, hold on. All right, Reggie. Ah, uh, I, I, I got it for you. Let's go, Reggie. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> New. You got him? You got him? Got him. Look at that hook. Oh. Look at the wow, hook. in the tongue. Barely got wow. him in the tongue. Wow, barely got him. Woo. Oh, it feels good. Beating your Dang. tube. Beating the PB twice in one day. Yes. We're getting a new weight on this guy. There you go. How was the yeah. fight on this guy? Oh, this fight was good. The yeah, fight it was looked good. pretty good. Yeah. All right, let go. Let's see what your new PB is, man. Nice. Hey, you beat it? Hey, you yeah. upgraded. Hey, one upgraded. Point, yeah. one and I'll three quarters. Yeah. Almost two I'll pounds. Got your fish unhooked the uh, white thing. Cool. So th this is one, look look at this guy. This is one of the ones with the uh, black spots. Look at yeah, the head. Yeah. Oh look yeah, at the top. Spots. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. All right, beautiful specimen. Here we go. We can let this dude go. Here we go. Right before we had to leave, Woo! man. That was perfect. That's a perfect day right there. That's how we do it. Guys, stay tuned. Yeah. The Reggie Fishing Chronicles will continue. But yeah, that's like the only spot you can fish in the winter and consistently catch fish. That's when you're gonna... Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Alright, alright. We're not done yet. We're not done yet, Reggie. Thought the video was ending. Ooh! I think, I think I'm gonna have the biggest fish of the day, man. So. Lift him up. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Actually, it'll be yeah. close. You know, we'll yeah. see. Perfect hook set. I'm fishing the chowder bait. And let's show, let's show your bait, Reggie. Nice. Look, guys, look what Reggie's using. We're imitating, what are we imitating today? The shad. The shad, yeah. exactly, exactly. Pop this hook out. Oh yeah, that's the hook. Yeah, this is that. I think I got you beat today, man. Yeah. The student ha will not surpass the master today. Official weight. Oh, right. dude, we're all, all of us are off. Oh, one ninth. One ninth, not even two pounds. They look bigger. Yeah, yeah. Why do they, they look yeah, bigger? They look you know why? It's because these fish, it's not the winter time. These fish are not as fat as they normally are. Hey, beautiful. I mean, that, that yeah, it so looks great, like man. a two pounder, it but does. when I feel it, hold it, it does not feel like yeah. a true two pounder. A little bit skinnier, just they don't weigh as much during this time of year. Yeah. But beautiful wow. fish. All right, guys, plenty more to come. See you, buddy. And she's off. All right, let's go. Yeah, we'll go this way. What up? Oh, careful, bro. Careful. Yeah, yeah, sure. Of course. Yeah, you No, I want you in it too. Oh, you want to? Oh, get rid You know who Reggie is? All right. You want to have your buddy take it? Or you, you got some? Got, oh, let's get in there. Get in here. No, no rush, man. No rush. Hey, how's the fishing been? Oh, slow.